Today I'm going to be making an Arturul sword and a Turgut axe. So let's get started. Over here I have this ginormous TV box which I'm going to be making the sword and the Turgut axe with. I'm not going to need this whole box so I'm just going to use the front of it. Okay guys, so now I'm done cutting my cardboard and let me just say, it's a struggle to cut cardboard. Anyways, this cardboard is about 30 inches long and our sword is going to be 30 inches long. So this cardboard is perfect and I'm just going to sketch out the sword so that we can cut it out. So guys, I cut it out two similar pieces so that we can stack and glue them to make it more stronger. Now we're going to make the handle of our sword. And now we're going to cut it out. So I'm done cutting both of the pieces and I'm going to be covering it with this paper. It's like printed like a wood and so it's going to make it look like it's made of wood. So now I'm done covering both of the pieces with the paper and we're gonna now we're gonna stick it one like this and the other one like that but before that we need to sharp the top so I'm done shaping the top and now we are going to put the foil I also made a mark so that I don't cover the foil over here because this is going to be the sword part Taking the foil and it's super super shiny. Now we're going to stick on our handles, our wooden handles. Now we need to cover up this handle. For that, I'm going to be using this glittery paper because I love glitter, and we're going to stick it over here. I think I'm going to use. looks beautiful well now we're going to go now we're going to make our turbo tap so let's get started over here I have a wax paper roll that I'm going to be using to make the turbo axe with so now we are going to sketch out the axe and it's going to be something like this Again, we're gonna cut two similar pieces. Ta da! Now, we're going to stick both of them like this, and we're gonna take our wax paper roll and we're going to cut one inch off, and then we're going to put this in here. Before that, we need to cover it up with some duck. I'm gonna start from here and work my way down. So when you do it at the bottom, make sure you add some cuts so that it doesn't wrinkle when you fold it down. to glue 
glue both of them together and cover it with foil. Over here I have my foil and I'm gonna put my axe on here and make a sandwich. And then I'm gonna add some glue and stick it on like this. We're going to cut a little of the side. We need to make sure that we leave at least an inch. This. I'm done covering it up with foil. Now, since the axe is really thick, we need to cut a really thick hole in our roll so that it slides in. Okay, it was really hard to slide it in, but now it's done. Now you see, you see this, I'm going to cover it up with more duct tape. We are done. Now for more details, we are going to tie it up with a rope. So on the last knot, I just stuck it with some hot glue. And finally, we are done. Here's the Arturo's sword and the Turgut axe. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to make a shield and a bow and arrow, let me know in the comments. Bye!